So are you ready to transform your life so you can fulfill your God-given purpose? I'm sharing tips and insight from my personal health journey, as well as the challenge God is giving to all believers. If you're enjoying Table Talk, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Remember to click that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our latest posts. Well, when it comes to fulfilling our purpose in this life, it is imperative that we do our part to take care of ourselves. 1 Corinthians 6, verse 19 and 20 tells us that our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit and that we should honor God with our bodies. So today, I'm going to share a little bit about my health journey, the challenge God gave me, and how I've walked that path over the last year or two. And um, many of you have written and asked me a million times, Joni, share us, what are you doing? Da, da, da. So we're gonna do that today. But first joining around the table is my dear friend, Cindy Johnston, who <laughs> traveled this journey with me. Yes, well, <laughs> I've traveled my own journey. Yeah, we kind of did that together, actually. Without even talking about it. Right, yeah. I didn't realize <laughs> that I had really gained that much weight that was not healthy for me at all. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna talk about that, just kind of, you know, kind of what the Lord showed us. Latricia, how are you? I'm doing fabulous. You never had Happy a weight issue you. in your life, right? Well, I did at one point. You, you did? know, after kids and yeah, stuff like yeah. that, getting the baby weight off and stuff. Yeah. So that's another yeah. whole program for sure. Mm -hmm. It sure is. Yeah. <laughs> Rachel Lamb Brown, is that it, it's it's something that's ongoing, the health journey, isn't it? Yeah, I would say I'm on that soon. I gotta get on it because <laughs> no it's nine months, so at some point I gotta start. You no, I think it's good you to be great. healthy, and um, you've had such a remarkable transformation. So, really? girl, Thank you, you Thank look you. good. Thank you. <laughs> All right, okay. And here I'm going to in introduce my husband to the table because he has been actively encouraging me to continue this journey. And of course, he has his own repertoire of stuff that he does. Uh, Dr. Doug Weiss, welcome. Well, thank you for letting me come to the table. Yeah, come to <laughs> the table. Do you remember that song? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay, we're glad you're here. And Rebecca Lamb Weiss, we're always talking about everything that we can do <laughs> that's healthy, exercise, da 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 down through the years, haven't we? <laughs> yes, we have. <laughs> I'm just here. <laughs> <laughs> but you are pregnant. We have to tell everyone that. So you're you're eating healthy, but I mean, it is, a, it is a challenge, like right after you have a baby, if you've had a healthy pregnancy, you don't just pop right back into those size six jeans. No, and I didn't think I'd be here on international television talking about this, so. <laughs> okay, Cindy Murdoch, we've talked about this, and, and of course you have, like, I've been with you when you go up and come down and- Up and down. <laughs> Actually, demands a disciplined life mm -hmm. yeah. and choices. Yeah. And I think myself, a lot of times, it, I will eat or not do exercise out of emotion, either yeah. tired, don't feel good, or I, I need yeah. some comfort, so I'm gonna eat that comfortable food that yeah. feels you, good. You always tickle me when you say <laughs> you have intentions to get on your, is it your treadmill? Yeah. <laughs> you walk by it every day. Totally and, intense and speak to. <laughs> to it. <laughs> I love that. So how do we honor God with our bodies? Well, we can start by taking an active role in our health. And by understanding this, we can improve our lives and help ensure that we are able to fulfill our personal God-given purpose. That's why today I want to share with you a little bit about my journey. And so many of you asked me the question, so hey, here is the show for you today. And I'm just going to tell you, it's nothing really earth shattering that you don't know, but um, I just believe that uh, those of you that are watching, if you sincerely want to get healthy, you can. Yes. And I believe the Lord can help you. I mean, is it okay to ask God to help us on these kind of things? Absolutely, because he wants you to have a body to be able to do his ministry. And actually, there's people who die way before they were supposed to because of their responsibility. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So God wants us to have a long life, a healthy life, mm -hmm. free of disease as much as possible. Yeah. And to do that, we have to cooperate yeah. with him. Yes. Well, so I can go back with, with all of you watching and tell you that when um, Marcus graduated to heaven and um, it was a very 
very traumatic. And I've said before, it's like half your heart leaves. And I was very sad. And Cindy, I remember you were there with me, like from the beginning, like you came over to the house, Cindy, you did as well. Of course, the family and, um, but everybody, what do we do when, when somebody dies? We bring food. food. Yeah. And so there was a lot of food in the house. And of course, you know, it was, it was a beautiful time to have family together. Remember Marcus and then of course had his funeral. And that was the most amazing funeral I've ever been to in my life. If you haven't seen it, mm-hmm. it's actually on demand and on YouTube, isn't it? Yes. And, uh, I don't, I've never, have you ever seen so many ministers at one it funeral? It was a king's funeral of, of, in the kingdom. There were more kings honoring a king than you will ever see again in one place. Yeah, and the music, I mean, every part of it was just anointed, and I just pray the Lord let Marcus peek over the side and see it. So you say, well, why are you saying that? Because I was grieving, and I can remember the the month of December. I remember y'all, you and Darius came over for New Year's Eve. Do you remember? And I sat on the lotion and cried, and we talked about how sad it was. And I mean, and there for those of you that have lost a loved one or you've gone through trauma or it's important to grieve, you know, you as a psychologist, how important is it for people to go through that process of grieving? Absolutely. You want to go through it as intensely as possible and feel the pain. Let the tears go. Let the anger go. Deal with the bargaining. If this would have happened, I'll deal with all that process. Have some really close friends you can process it with is what you did. You did grieving really well. And Rhonda Davis, only if she was here at the table because she, mm-hmm. she had lost her precious husband, Hank, eight weeks before Marcus passed. So we were both widows. And, and they were friends, so it even made Marcus it. did the funeral yeah. for mm-hmm. Hank. Mm-hmm. And so um, we were talking almost like every night, which was which God sent for me because she was a little ahead of me, actually, mm-hmm. in the process. Mm-hmm. But um, anyway, we would talk and eat ice cream and and she said it, she said at our wedding, what Shark Tank? <laughs> we would <laughs> talk about, you know, things that we had to do in ministry, et cetera, et cetera. And um, but it was probably long about May. So we see November, December, January, February, March, April, May, um, that the Lord started speaking to me about getting my house in order. And I can tell you I was a little offended when he said that to me because I didn't exactly know what he meant but he said no I've got some things coming and um, I didn't at that point didn't have any idea God was about to open some supernatural doors for a table talk to go on um, other networks and and other um, stations and big markets I didn't know that then but he knew it and he just said I want you to get your house in order I was like what do you mean by that and he's like well you're not taking really good care of of yourself, like you know how to eat right, you know how to exercise, you know, I'd done that really over the course of my life and played sports and all of that uh, growing up. So um, what I did pretty much right off the bat, this is the first little clue for y'all, is I got off of sugar. And then for me, I gave up like all of the bleached and white products, like white flour, I gave up, potatoes. I gave up white rice. I gave up what else? White bread. Yeah. Well, white bread. Yeah. And, um, and then I stuck more to like fish and vegetables and, um, protein, vegetables, some fruit and lots of water. And thank goodness I had my stevia. (laughs) Y'all should bring me a stevia bottle so I can, I would make (laughs) unsweet tea. Yeah. And if I wanted something sweet, I would yes. sweeten the unsweet tea with stevia, and that we love yes. that, don't we? Cindy? It helps amazingly. Yeah. Was and there the a certain coffee. like <laughs> order that you ate, or times that you ate, or portion? Like, I also joined in Pilates. That was the other thing that I did, and I was already, I had already, I had walked like my whole life, and I had done Orange Theory and all these other kind of exercises. But I joined Pilates and, but doing Pilates and also drinking a lot of water, cutting out those things that I mentioned, there was immediately, I started feeling better. And um, I know, did you, did you do some of those very same things? Um, probably not as specific as you did, but I definitely cut down on what I was eating. I cut out like the ice cream mm-hmm. and I didn't deprive myself of um, like a dessert, but I did, I was very intentional about what I ate. But I, that's something I noticed about you, Joni, through the journey. Yeah. 
because we eat, we would eat lunch together all the time. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that you cut back on your portions. Mm -hmm. Like you might not um, eat the whole, plate, eat the whole yeah. plate full of food, yeah, right. which that was very impressive to me. And it helped me. It was like, okay, I don't have to eat the whole thing. Were you full? Yeah, because over time, if you give up those things, first you kind of have, when you give up sugar, you go through... Um, Withdrawals. Withdrawals, <laughs> and you have headaches, and you feel bad. It's tough. <laughs> yeah. and, um, but Emotional once you get down. through that and you start eating healthy, your body starts feeling better, and you start feeling better, and your stomach actually will shrink a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I think making yes. choices, too. I found that when I would go out, I would, instead of getting like a loaded baked potato with my protein, I would make another choice of like grilled vegetables instead. Mm -hmm. And I was yeah. just as content with yes. that. Yeah. But it was a lot lower in calories for yeah. me. So But I think people get confused because they think they think you lost weight like really fast, but you actually did it. It was like because I was doing the math in my brain and it was such a blur in my mind because I was trying to I'm like trying to remember that time in my life because I was probably had Bo, right? Yeah. In May, and then I was yeah. pregnant, dad went. But you actually did it for like a whole year. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. It was very slow. And I think But no one notices until right. you lose like 20 pounds. Right. And right. then you kept losing weight, you know? Yeah. I think a mistake that a lot of people make is, especially women, is we think, oh, we run and like do all this mm -hmm. stuff, like yes, we're gonna point. lose weight. But it it doesn't really matter even how much you work out, it's what you put in it's your, your body. It's your diet. Absolutely. Diet is No, I know body. that as a fact because like yeah. I worked out my entire life and I thought, well, What's the difference between me and the guys and girls who go to the gym who never change their body and the person who becomes a bodybuilder? Because right. we're doing the same workouts. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, I, now I've competed many times. And the, it is the diet. Abs are made in the kitchen. And those people okay. are on the strictest diet. Yeah, well, I've done it several times. It's so, very restrictive. But the, it's but it your works. diet that makes your body. <laughs> Exercise is great. But if you exercise and then go eat pizza, another trick is if you go do cardio for 30, 45 minutes and then you put anything in your mouth other than water, your body is not going to, it's going to stop burning fat. You actually burn fat for another 45 minutes After. if you don't eat. Yeah. You know, and I see these, I see people go to the treadmill, and as soon as they go to the treadmill, they grab a protein bar. And oh, that's good. Put it in their mouth. Oh, yeah. And it's know. like, Every boom, meal. shuts down the whole thing. Yeah, that you is never good deviated. To you can run, you can exercise, you can do cardio. And there will be no change if you don't change the food that you're that's eating. So, true. so that's a real key, I think, is eating the right food. And so you say, well, you know, do you just say so strict? And, I, you know, I think you and I have talked about sometimes, like, on the weekend, you know, you make it a little treat. Well, even bodybuilders, when we go into serious training, what we do is we, we have one cheat meal a week. Yeah. So we're like, really disciplined for those uh, but that burger and fries i mean you look Pizza. forward to that all week you know and you go what's my cheat meal going to be while i'm eating my little rice cakes and my broiled chicken right and so you it's okay to have a little deviation but it's what your norm is that's going to yeah. make your body yeah, but then true. then we start exercising and working out and getting you uh doing more stuff too which was yeah, fun yeah i know cindy you've done weight watchers mm -hmm. Yeah. And that worked really good for you. You'll be telling me your points. Yeah. I, don't, control. I, I still yeah, don't it, understand that, but yeah, it, it works. And it was a great eye opener for me because of the points that it. You saw how much you were oh taking. Oh my in. goodness. Yeah. Like you would, you could eat something and have no idea yeah. it had that many. And I'm like, that's my whole meal. Like, <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. that's my whole day yeah. of Dang. points. I can't even have anything else. Yeah. So well, that's one of good the discipline. Things. That's yeah. one of the things. Your stomach is so small. And you look at your meal and I'm like, that's a large a meal. So it like it resonates with mm -hmm. you, like, okay, I need to balance this out, you know? Yeah. But also consistency is one of the things too. Like cutting sugar, carbs was my thing as well. Yeah. And that can turn into sugar as well. Mm -hmm. So it's like being consistent with that with the Protein, um, salmon, baked chicken, uh, vegetables yeah. is always a and good And there are go good carbs. Yeah, there are good like carbs. Your, as like well. fruit, like avocado, yes. like, right. you know, there are I mean, healthier carbs. Avocado, healthier yeah. carbs. Healthier. Well, any, good fat anybody who, um, I think anytime you stick with God the, carbs. God's, God <laughs> carbs. Yes. God carbs in God colors. Yes. And, the and outside of so the grocery store. If it comes store. in a bag, don't <laughs> eat it as a carb. But what about the emotional? 
and mental and spiritual side of this, Doug. Well, I mean, first of all, if you're eating the wrong foods, you're going to be in a bad mood. It's true. You're not going to be spiritually That's sharp. True. You're going to get in a funk, a sugar funk, a carb funk, and stuff like that can happen to you. And also, it's, it's when you eat. Like, if you're going to eat, you know, pick a time when you don't eat, just to know that you can not eat. Say, okay, I'm not going to eat from 4 o'clock to bedtime or 5 o'clock till bedtime. And pick a time when you're not going to eat. Mm -hmm. Because as Americans, we have food around all the time. We're eating all the time. Stomach Those are all mess. calories and it adds up. <laughs> yeah. That's another thing you can do is pick a time when you're not going to eat. But I would also say the most important thing is have someone you're accountable to. It's the secret food that's going to kill you. <laughs> the okay? closet. It's when you go on the, in the freezer by yourself and nobody knows if God does not exist. Okay? It's not the freezer. It's the it, refrigerator. It's, it's, it's like everywhere. Look in it's there. everywhere. So have someone you're accountable to say, hey, I've picked a time when I'm not going to eat. I pick things I'm not going to eat and I'm going to stick with this and then have accountability because if we confess our faults one to another, we can be healed. Mm. Yeah. And see, a lot good. of us don't confess our food sins. That's right. Our food sins. There are like healthy treats that you can do that taste like they have sugar, but they don't have sugar. They have God sugar mm -hmm. in it. And um, or we use fruit or you use figs or dates or something. Monk fruit. Monk fruit to sweeten it with. So, um, one of the things that I learned is that if you want to have a special treat and not have sugar, there are alternatives out there. There's a lot of recipes on the internet and stuff. And so we have a couple of little desserts that we want to share with you. And y'all can all taste this first one. It's called the Magic Cookie. What it has in it is uh, one and a half cups of cashews, one and a half cups of unsweetened coconut flakes, mm. three-fourths a cup of the Lily Stevia chocolate chips. There's no sugar in those. You can get those at Whole Foods. And three-fourths of a can of the coconut unsweetened condensed milk. Okay, so Delicious. everybody taste it's amazing. it. Everybody taste it. it. Tell it, me what it you is. think. I think it's, it's better than the Does it have raisins? other magic no. cookie because Chocolate. it's oh, okay. not so obnoxiously sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. But the chocolate comes through just right. Yes. yes. Yeah. Very okay, rich. honestly, what do you think, Cindy? I like it. There's a lot of coconut in it. If you're mm -hmm. a real coconut eater, I, I love like coconut. it. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Very good. I love coconut and I love the chocolate. It's so rich. So what do you think about it, babe? I love them because I have these at home. So I know you I do. Love them. And you eat them all the time when I'm trying to save them. <laughs> Thank you. Mom. I'm saving you. Okay. It's a what do you sacrifice. think, Becca? What it's you good. Think? Mm -hmm. You like it? So it good? is good. absolutely delicious. I mean, I love it like with a cup of hot tea or this a would cup be of fun. I would never mm. want sugar if I had these. Yeah. Another yeah. one I do that's similar that's really easy for people at home kids. is mm -hmm. all by dates. And I'll just take the pip up so good. and I'll like mm -hmm. just mush it together and I'll put the, the chocolate chips. You roll in like in peanuts and chocolate oh, yeah. chips. And then some type Dates of nuts. I do yeah. like the thin almonds so and it kind of tastes like a Snickers. Do you yep. love chocolate tastes right. good on this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a good so idea. the dates. So this is yeah. Lily's? Yeah. Okay. So the dates, um, you get the dates, you take the pit out of it, mm -hmm. and then you just roll the date. And it's, it's it, they, we call it God's caramel. Yeah. And then yeah. you just put down the the um, Lily's Stevia sweet mm -hmm. chocolate mm -hmm. chips mm -hmm. and peanuts or thin almonds. I do thin almond, whatever nut you want. And just roll it in it, and it is so good. Now, you can make it into a bark, too. Dates and that's an do you have can a lot of natural. Dates have a lot of calories, too. Day, dates have and calories sugar, and yeah. sugar, but it's God's sugar. It's so good. But You're they gonna, also have right. a lot of fiber, right? So they help right. you poop. Yeah. Oh, they a lot of fiber. Right. Yeah. So we're just getting it out. Exactly. And when women, before they give birth, they're supposed to eat like tons of dates. Yeah, so it's to help with birth. So, yes. fun fact, folks. Girls, so I, I should be making you those too. a day. Okay, okay. let's move on, Pardon. ladies. Let's move on. Let's move on. Um, ban the banana nut bread. This is what really is good. It it's got three bananas, two eggs, a fourth a cup mm. of oil, one cup of oatmeal, half a cup of almond flour. A teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of baking powder, and get this, a fourth of a cup of monk fruit sweetener, mm -hmm. one very teaspoon good. of baking soda, and a pinch of salt. Mm. Mm. Got very be, moist. Oh, yes. Is that not good? Really no, good. It's, it's I think it's the moist. best one. Very good. That is so good. Now, be careful unreal. with your fake sweeteners, because some of them taste really bad. Yeah. And monk fruit, because a lot of monk fruit is mixed with ethereal. You have to get the right one. There's like, there's not that many that are just mm. straight up monk That's fruit. really right. good. So look for that yes. on the label. Okay, now this is the cheesecake. It's called um, burnt cheesecake. It has cream cheese, two eggs, Greek yogurt, 
Again, monk fruit sweetener, a teaspoon of vanilla, and a pinch of salt. So tasted that, because there's no carbs in it at all, no sugar. Put it with a little bit of whipped cream. Mm -hmm. oh. Sugar-free whipped cream. Oh, that's good. Mm. Very Isn't that good? good? If you're like... That is very oh, intentionally. I love it. You could, yeah. you could put it some fresh fruit around it or on it. it. You, you could put some, yeah. blue, could put some blueberries, but eat it, it with the whipped cream. Isn't that good? It tastes like cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. Really does. That's a good batch right there. So you go to JoniLamb.com forward slash recipes, and they have that on the screen. Is all of you want the recipe, I know. Yes. But again, <laughs> okay, so. But email us yours, too, if you got something that's really good. Send yeah, share. yeah. That's that's right. share. This is a family, mm. right? That's right. We and just remember this. Other. It's in moderation. Well, yeah. right. yes. Like, you can't go eat four plates of this and go, well, it didn't have any sugar, so I'm good, because you still have <laughs> calories, right? right. Yeah, that's what Doug yeah. was saying, is, like, you have to count your calories. Like, these are really cute small portions. Right. You know, but if you if you had, like, like, a, a huge... Whole... Yeah, you, right. would, you would ruin your day. So again, it's it's discipline to have the portion control and just agree agree to something. If you want yeah. to take a journey, like anything, you want to you want to have a better spiritual life, agree to the discipline. Disciplines guarantee outcomes. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about outcomes if you plant a discipline. Mm -hmm. That is kind That's of true. the motive That's of what we're so talking true. about today. So what about for people who aren't exercising, they say, okay, I'm going to... I'm going to do some of the stuff you're talking about, Joni, about try to eat healthier, give up sugar, et cetera. Um, what would be a start for them exercising? It's just walking. walking. Just if you, if you can't do anything, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. Movement. You know, take the steps that you can take. Start with a block, start with five blocks, go to a mile, go to five miles. But start somewhere. But start with a friend. You will more likely, research shows that you will more likely succeed if you get a partner. And even if that partner is your dog, you know, but get a real person and take the dog with you guys. But get outside, do something with your body. The body was made to do stuff. It's not made to sit in front of a screen, okay? It's made to move. And if you move it, you get better results. So, um, okay, walking is good. How, how good swimming. is swimming? Swimming is great for but your you, body, one no thing joints. You, one thing you do sometimes is you just kind of run in the water. Running in water burns 30% more calories. Yeah. So if I'm going to spend an hour walking, I'll do it in the water, I, spend 30, I burn 30% more calories. But if people like don't it's know how so to swim. It's so much harder than it looks. Honestly. If somebody doesn't know how to swim, they could get in the shallow end of a pool yes. or whatever and just walk, yeah, and they're not going to hurt and their joints. And you can do the water, water aerobics class at every gym and every YMCA has. Yeah. So you can, you can, if you want to do something, you will find something to do. And then if you are a little bit more serious, you can um, do some um, weights. But what, what kind of weight should they start out with? Any gym has a trainer. Start there. Ask them what you can do and, and let them take you through every machine so you do it intelligently. Just one word quickly, what would you say to encourage people of something that helped you? I guess what, you lose 20 pounds, 25 pounds? 20 about. Yeah, okay. I think um, just... Portion control for me and living your life on purpose. So you have purpose for this is the choices I'm going to make yeah. today. It's okay once a week to have a little treat. Yes, and I, I do, but it's nothing that I was doing before. Right. Matricia, quick little. I would say just um, be consistent. That's the key word. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I did was the treadmill for three three days out of a week for 30 minutes. That's good. Just for beginners. Yeah. And it helped within a month or so, you would start to feel mm -hmm. the right. difference. Mm -hmm. you know? right. And I put mine on you an will. incline, mm -hmm. you know, Same so you here. can steadily go a little faster. You don't want to yes. go real, real fast anyway. You just want to walk, but you want to walk at a good pace. Right. And then I put mine on an incline, which Same helps here. as well when I have that suit on. What would you say? I would say for all of you that feel overwhelmed with all the information, <laughs> don't. Don't. Start exactly. somewhere. Yes. Start with one thing. And, and yeah. then as you get consistent and comfortable with that, then add another thing. So maybe it's just, I'm going to yeah. cut out soda and I'm just going to really focus on my water intake. And then it's, I'm going to walk on the treadmill a couple times a week or maybe just one time a week. And yeah. you just slowly add and build And if you want there. a soda, exactly. do sparkling water. They have all these great sparkling waters yes. that have no sugar in them and you still feel like you're getting a soda, but there's nothing worse for you than some of those sodas. Start like, where you really are bad for you. with what exactly. you have, That's baby good. steps. What would be your advice? Steps. Uh, weight is a heart issue. It's not a body issue. Right. Yes. When your heart decides that you are worthy of getting better, you will pick anything to get better. So just check your heart and say, Lord, is there something I need to do? And then do what he tells you to do. Yeah, that's good. Rebecca? I would say that your self-worth is not 
tied into how you look. So don't be hard on yourself how you look and know that God loves you as you are. Mm -hmm. And don't motivate yourself or put pressure on yourself in that way, but understand that you're valuable yeah. Yeah. and it's worth taking care of yourself. And you can allow you to be a motivator or you can allow your kids or your grandkids, but wanting to be around and feel good for as long as you can while you're on this earth. I, you know, I wanna be, I wanna feel good in my body for as long as I can. And I wanna yeah, be yeah. able to be healthy. And I remember dad always said, I wanna be as healthy as I can so I can be here for your kids and you know, for my kids and for my grandkids. So. That was always his mentality, and that's kind of the mentality I want to continue myself. Yeah, you know, I feel so much better, like 30, 35 pounds down, just even bending down to pick up the, the grandkids or play with them or sit on the floor with them. It really makes a huge difference in how you feel. Yeah, like working out for me, I'm just going to say really quick, wasn't even about toning or losing weight. It was about my mental capacity. Exactly. Like when I could go to the gym, I could just let it all go get it out, and yeah. I would walk away just feeling so refreshed. Yeah. That endorphin release, there's something to say yes, about that. That's, that's true. The same for that's me. what I was going to say. Um, I think where I'm at now and focusing and wish I had done it even more so earlier in life to be intentional, that better health means better life. Mm -hmm. And if we don't have our health, we will not have yeah. a good and a life that we can enjoy. Yeah, and the other thing, I did mention stevia. This is the kind we use. It's a K-A-L brand. And because, like you said, Becca, all stevias are not the same, <laughs> well, and all sweeteners are not the same. This is a really good tasting one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't have a bitter aftertaste. Yeah, at all. and um, by the way, I did not take any drug. I did not take any shots. I did not. It was all um, the Lord and and Him helping me with self control. You received a lot of love. Yes. Yeah, and I, <laughs> I received some love along the way as well, and that helped me. But. Um, you can do this, and I'm excited about what God's going to do in the days ahead. Well, we're out of time. I really want you to take away one important point from today's table talk, and that is God has purpose for your life. It's so important that you're able to fulfill it, and you can do that so much better when you're taking care of this body, which is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And um, I want to say also that it just kept coming to me that, you know, unforgiveness can really, really affect Mm -hmm. your body, your metabolism, how you feel. So you don't understand sometimes that you need to get those emotions um, uh, under the blood of Jesus and you need to, to forgive and uh, have peace in your heart and your mind and your soul. That's going to help you accomplish some of the goals that we've talked about. And of course, uh, always check with your physician before beginning any health regimen. And if you're watching today and you need prayer and encouragement, or maybe you're just watching this because you wanted to hear about what we're going to share about the health journey and good recipes and all that kind of stuff. But you don't know Jesus. Really, that is why we exist, is to share the gospel with you and let you know that Jesus loves you. And all you have to do is just call out on the name of Jesus and say, Jesus, I need you come into my heart today. Forgive me. And that will also help you in the start of this new journey to have him on the inside of you it will change everything. Well, we have wonderful prayer partners standing by. If you prayed that prayer, I'd love to send you a free book uh, that's in, uh, actually the book of John from the Bible, which is a great place to start. And uh, we'd love to send that to you as our way of saying we're excited about what God is doing. We're excited about what God's going to do in the days ahead. And we want you to read the word of God because it's so very important. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you found our stories and insight helpful. Follow us on all the social media platforms. Leave us a comment to let us know how this program impacted you. I want to hear your stories like mm, three or four months from now. Tell me what's going on. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the Joni Table Talk podcast. It's available now across all top podcast apps. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Doug. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for today.